Chief Justice John Roberts swearing the high court's newest member in this morning at the Supreme Court building. Justice Clarence Thomas presided over last night's ceremony at the White House just hours after she was officially confirmed. She's promised to be an independent judge and separate duty from political preference. The high court is expected to hear challenges to the Affordable Care Act in the coming weeks. And Barrett's confirmation, as you know, sparked fierce partisan arguments on Capitol Hill. And joining us now to talk more about the Supreme Court justice is Illinois Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. You um, have been a big uh, critic of uh, Judge Amy Coney Barrett becoming a Supreme Court justice. You've also talked about the fact that Trump is packing the court by doing this, although a lot of folks are criticizing Joe Biden that if he were elected, he would pack the court. Well, think about this. Even during the um, Obama administration, 11 months left in his term, and the Republicans would not consider his nominee for the Supreme Court. And now, for the first time in history, during an election, we are we, we saw a Supreme Court justice added. It's all about politics. It's all about choosing somebody who would do the um, conservative agenda and which is so far removed right now from where the American people are at. Um, this is somebody who um, has expressed concern about the Affordable Care Act, which is now being challenged in the courts and coming to the Supreme Court, um, and who uh, has not supported a woman's right to choose um, the uh, overturning of Roe v. Wade as possible, or even marriage equality is at stake right now. Everything is on the line, and the election is happening right now. This was shameful to make an appointment right now, especially of someone who has pretty much signed on the dotted line that she supports the Trump agenda. Well, Congresswoman, you, you laid out a lot of those important social issues that will come before the Supreme Court. Um, what do you foresee happening? What do you think will happen? Will the, the fears uh, of a lot of those who uh, maybe slant more uh, to the liberal side will, you know, will see life as we know it essentially change because of the, you know, how weighty the court is on the conservative side now? The answer really is the election. If uh, Joe Biden becomes the president of the United States of America, there will be a lot of options available. Um, I think we can have a rebalancing of the, uh, of, of the courts, but the Congress can also pass bills that will protect consumers, can protect women, um, and, and pass those, those laws. So I think everything is really hanging now on the election. I want to encourage everybody to come out to vote who doesn't see themselves in the appointments that have been made to the Supreme Court, those very, very conservative right-wing uh, agendas that are um, threatening all of us. Well, Congresswoman, a lot of folks said, you know, McConnell, Mitch McConnell said, we're not taking up Merrick Garland. We're not going to discuss that. Mm -hmm. And then he turned around and said, well, we are going to discuss um, Amy Coney Barrett. What could Democrats have done to stop this, either one, from happening? Many constituents think that, that Democrats aren't doing enough. You know, and that's why I say this election is so important, because I think we can see a Democratic Senate uh, being being elected now, and that will change everything. Um, it's it's hard when Mitch McConnell, who calls himself the Grim Reaper, will not consider any legislation. In fact, how did he spend the last four years packing the lower courts in as well as packing the Supreme Court? Appointing 200 judges, you can um, talk to the senators, like Senator Durbin, all they did, we have 300 bills that passed the House, many of them bipartisan, sitting on Mitch McConnell's desk. And all he wanted to do was um, nominate very, very conservative judges. So, but all of that can change in a week um, if we uh, elect a Democratic president, a Democratic uh, uh, Senate. And we can make the we can protect the people who feel threatened right now, and that's pretty much all of us. Yep, a week from today, Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, great to talk with you. Thanks for your time today. My pleasure. Thank you for inviting me.